Welcome to Air Management Systems. This is the second video of this series. It will help you decide what is the best paint spray booth for your needs. It will go over the different spray booth airflow types and best size to spray paint your products. Air Management Systems, supplying paint booths and pollution control systems in the Southwest since 1983. To begin, let's talk about the main types of spray booths used in Southern California. Spray booths are used to control the atomized paint generated by the use of a compressed air-driven spray gun. These fumes and paint particulate are very flammable. The exhaust fan in the spray booth transfers that paint-laden air into specialized exhaust filters. It is that air movement that keeps the space where the spray painting is taking place below explosivity levels. Fire codes and common sense require that the compressed air to the paint application gun be interlocked with the exhaust fan. That way, the use of the paint gun can only happen when the exhaust fan is running. All of the airflow types that will be discussed in this video can come in every size imaginable. From painting cell phones to the largest aircraft and everywhere in between, these types of spray booths are divided into three basic types of airflows. The most common and most basic airflow design in a spray booth is the cross-draft spray booth. It draws outside air to the booth and exhausts the paint-laden air through exhaust filtration at the rear of the booth. From there it passes through the exhaust fan and up through the roof of your building in specialized ducting to the outside. The exhaust fan is a non-sparking two axial fan, so the flammable paint fumes and overspray not collected by the exhaust filtration will not catch on fire. This design is the most common type of airflow used in all industries. Cross-draft spray booths can come in two basic types. The smallest type of cross-draft spray booth is the bench type spray booth. They are typically used to paint products that are small and can be held in your hand or on a rotator. The second type of cross-draft spray booth is the open face spray booth. This type of spray booth is the most common spray booth sold. It can be manufactured to any size to fit the product you are painting. The open face spray booth can have added filter doors at the opposite end of the booth from the exhaust filters. That added intake air filtration prevents most of the dust and other particles from getting into your freshly painted product's finish. As the quality of the finish needs to increase, the cross-draft open face booth can be manufactured with an intake air plenum. That intake air plenum allows for the use of solid product entry doors, and adding an intake air fan enables further reduction in possible product finish contamination. Then the final improvement you can make to the open face booth is the addition of a heater. By adding heated pressurized air into the intake air plenum of your cross-draft open face booth, you now have control over the temperature in the booth over the ambient cold air outside of the booth. In very rare occasions, the control of the intake air can have the necessary systems to control humidity and even cool the air, making it possible to control all of the variables your specialized finishes require. The open face spray booth with filtered or solid product entry doors with an intake plenum is sometimes called an enclosed cross-draft spray booth. The reality is it's an open face spray booth with added options to decrease paint finish contamination. They can be manufactured to any size and any option to meet your spray painting needs. The second type of airflow that you will see in a spray booth is the modified downdraft spray booth. Very similar to the crossdraft spray booth in every way except the air does not come from one end of the booth and pass to the other end. It takes a shorter path from the roof or ceiling of the spray booth to the sides or back wall of the spray booth. This type of spray booth is more effective than the cross-draft spray booth in contamination control. With a pressurized intake fan or heated air makeup unit, it will further reduce potential dust and other contamination from the incoming air passing to the exhaust filters. Better than a cross-draft spray booth for the person in the booth painting too, as the overspray passes away from the painter to the side or back wall. This style of airflow is used most often in situations where the floor of the booth cannot be excavated for the next type of booth we will discuss. The third and the best type of spray booth for any spray painting application is the True Downdraft Spray Booth. The True Downdraft Spray Booth, similar to the modified Downdraft Spray Booth, 
has its intake or incoming air coming directly above the product being painted. But the difference in the true downdraft airflow is the exhaust filters are directly below the product being painted. Since in almost every situation the height of a spray booth is going to be shorter than its length, that air coming from the ceiling and going directly to the floor under the part of product being sprayed has a shorter distance to travel. A downdraft spray booth will, without question, give you the cleanest non-contaminated paint finish. This airflow keeps the painter almost completely out of the overspray path. With the right heated air makeup unit and controls, the true downdraft spray booth can do just about anything that your finish requires. The only downside to a downdraft spray booth is it is the most expensive booth of all of the above. The construction work and concrete ducting for under the floor exhaust is labor and material intense. The advantages, however, are well worth it in every situation, since once the investment is made, the reduction in rework pays for the additional cost many times over. Now that we have gone over the three different types of airflow for spray booths, let's talk about the size of the booth you will need. If you are painting a small product that you can hold in your hand, you're probably going to want a bench spray booth. They can be any size that fits the product with enough room to articulate the product while being painted. For products that would be too heavy to hold in your hand or contamination in the finish is not a huge issue, an open face spray booth is a good option. For spray paint operations that are more contamination sensitive, a filtered door spray booth or an enclosed spray booth with pressurized or heated air makeup is the right option. Again, like the bench booth, you will need to either rotate the part or be able to walk around the part to paint it. Plan to have at least three feet all around the product and above it to be able to spray it and inspect it. These spray booths come in every size to fit your needs. When you are considering a true downdraft spray booth, the weight of your product will need to be designed into the exhaust plenum that will be under it. We have done downdraft booths for trains and planes, so it can be done, it's just something you should be considering. The space in your building needs to be taken into the consideration process as well. It's best to have at least three feet around the booth where it will be installed. That is a code requirement unless the wall you are installing the booth against is a one-hour rated wall. The second heel breaker we run into a lot is the code requiring the exhaust from the spray booth must be 30 feet away from any property line and 10 feet away from any openings in the building. It's always simplest if the building you are going to put the spray booth in has wet fire sprinklers already installed. That way a connection into that existing system can plumb into the booth without a huge expense. If there is no sprinkler system in the building, there is another option. It is a dry chemical fire suppression system. It is typically costlier and the maintenance for that type of system is more expensive as well. In Southern California, the last hurdle that should be considered is the rules and regulations of the air pollution control district you are located in. Things like distance from schools and low NOx burners can be a real budget breaker. Every aspect of determining what the right spray with for your needs is something we can assist you with. And we have been doing just that now for over 38 years. Give us a call or email us and we will get you with the right spray booth in Southern California's very regulated region. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you will know when new informative videos from Air Management Systems will be available. Thanks for watching. If you have questions about Air Management Systems, please go to our website at airmanagementsystems.com or give us a call at 1-888-878-6114. We are looking forward to help all of our customers throughout the Southwest with the best equipment and service 38 years of experience can offer.